in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your SafeSurf account by first joining by clicking on the link below this video and then set up your account as a free member and then activate your account as a full member to get all the benefits that SafeSwaps offers. When you click on the link below this video you'll be taken to a page similar to this and if you scroll down you will see that it says special thanks to Kostos Papadakis which means that your discounted link is now active. Now if you don't see this you will need to clear your cookies in order to get the discount and try again. So you need to clear your cookies then click on the link again to see this special thanks to Kostos Papadakis. Now all you have to do to, to join SafeSwaps is enter your full name here like I do obviously use your name <laughs> and a valid email address I'm gonna use one of my Gmail addresses and the password and click on the join now after you join you will see a similar page to this welcome you to safe swaps okay and here will explain a little bit the difference between the guest status and the restrictions you will have as a guest or if you like to activate prime status which is the full membership and you can also uh, get a discount that uh, the link you clicked provides now as a guest you can only have one swap with a prime member but they need to accept now what you need to understand about safe swaps and that's why it's called safe swaps people get a bit um, let's say not funny but uh, weird for to book ad swaps with people who are not already members to safe swaps and that is because they cannot really have a way to get back to them if they didn't held their end of the deal because what you need to understand with safe swaps is it operates on a feedback system pretty much like eBay so when you do an ad swap um, the you and the other partner can leave a feedback about the ad swap, about the quality of the traffic and also about your communication etc. If you're a guest they're a bit worried so most people won't accept an ad swap with you. However you can still buy solo ads uh, if you're a guest because that way obviously you pay someone and you don't need you can still leave feedback on the solo ad on the quality of the traffic but you don't have to do anything else other than pay for the solo ad. Now of course you can continue with the limited guest account and upgrade later or you can just activate Prime status and enjoy all benefits immediately. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the activate Prime status but the remaining of this tutorial apart from the payment here should be the same. As you can see you can go uh, on a monthly basis and it's $29.99 okay you need to read the service agreement and if you agree tick on this and press activate once you do that it will take you to PayPal to set up the one month trial with uh, SaveJob now you can cancel any time after this and um, or you can cancel at any time within this month and not get uh, and you can get a refund for this $29.99 but obviously I highly recommend you continue your, your subscription with SafeSwaps because it's really the place to build your list safely. So all you have to do here is add your PayPal email address and your password and start the subscription for SafeSwaps. Now if you don't want to do that just yet you can go back and click on continue with limited guest account and it will take you to this page where you will start setting up your subject and swipe text now this is the the email and the text which is also called swipe that a natural partner or, or a solo ad partner will send to their lists about your free offer okay uh, I'm not gonna set up this one up I'm gonna set up the prime status one but I'm just doing this so you can see how you can carry on if you don't wanna start a subscription just now actually let me just fill this in to show you how you can start as guest and then upgrade so I'm gonna post the video while I put some information here and about me and then I'm gonna walk you through what you need to put in here and in this box about me and what you need to do next 
okay so I'll fill in some of this information here required when you are a guest the full name and I'm gonna use um, a Facebook timeline manual squeeze page if you I don't know if you've seen this before but this is the page this is the squeeze I'm gonna be sending people to when I do ad swaps or when I buy solo ads and you can see they get for free the Facebook timeline manual which includes this squeeze page and mastery sale rights and giveaway rights okay so uh, in return when once they put their name and email here in return they will get this free gift but they all will also be in um, in my list now the swipe text is really how the email uh, will show to um, to the subscribers of the actual partner or the solo ad partner so hi recipient this is by default the system will put the name there today you can get your hands absolutely free uh, you can get your hands absolutely free actually I'm gonna change this today you can get your hands to my Facebook timeline manual absolutely free okay because we always send the free offer you know the squeeze we always give something for free and here you can put the the link which once you highlight it and this box will open and here you will put the link where your squeeze page is um, is um, hosted okay so domain name dot com slash index dot html assuming well, obviously you need to replace the main name and I'm assuming it's in the root directory of your site that index dot html where your squeeze will be okay also if you hire you can get mastery sell rights and a complete website costing over 47 for free so now we're trying to make them uh, to make it even more appealing to them because if you recall we're offering also mastery seller rights without a um, free offer and we say click here to get this amazing free gift for free so again you need to put here your link so domain name.com index.html again assuming that the index file of the squeeze is in the root uh, directory of your domain thank you for reading your name which this will the system will put the name of the sender either the actual partner or the solo ad partner now the about me you can write something like new to list building interested in quality ad swaps and solo ads now once you do this all you have to do is press save and once you press save you can see the screen setup complete initial setup complete you can return to certain screens okay and you can now you give it another option to proceed to the guest dashboard or activate now I'm gonna show you the guest dashboard first you will see a note that says your your account has highly limited get status you can view the limits okay and and you can search for ad swap partners and solo ad partners by this option you say search here now obviously there's a help section and you can find more about it by clicking this um, question mark icon there's a forum you can go and uh, discuss about ad swaps solo ads or if you're selling or if you're buying solo ads and you want them quicker but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna activate this to prime status so you see the difference of how things look now again we see this picture the, or this uh, box on our screen and we're gonna start with one month at 29.99 which is discounted price we agree and we're gonna press activate and once you do that it's gonna take you to PayPal you're gonna put your email and password and you're gonna activate your subscription so now I'm gonna show you how an activate um, subscription looks like obviously I'm gonna use mine in this example which I have been doing this for a while this is one of my confirmed lists and this is how many swaps I've done and how many solos I've done as you can see in the rating 100% 100% and this is the clicks I send on average for each one so this is how your dashboard will look like obviously it will be a lot uh, less simpler you won't have latest event or upcoming event 
and I'm just showing you so you see how it would look like when you're um, in activate your status now the if you have the first 300 to 500 subscribers as discussed earlier you will need to let safe swaps know about it so by clicking on this little uh, two icon it will take you to your settings page and in here you can edit the about me you can edit your swipes which is the earlier bit we did when we put our link to the squeeze page and this link here says my autoresponders clicking on that you if you have a Weber you will need to add the list size you have for example 500 subscribers and follow the instruction on this page by first clicking new choose an Aweber next your list size 500 and then clicking next it will ask you to put your password and then save swaps automation script will see the list size of your Aweber and will then have a verified list size next to your name which is important in order to book ad swaps with other people now once you do that there's you will see a button here up in the in the menu search and you can see ad swap and so lots now you see here this is the number of clicks in the middle okay the top row is for list sizes to match list sizes but this is obviously very important as you can see you can have swaps with people who send less than 50 clicks so clicking on that it will show you all the people that sent 50 clicks or less so when you first starting out obviously you have 300 500 subscribers this is the number of clicks you will be sending 20 25 maybe you will see here so all you have to do just pick one of those okay preferably with a hundred percent feedback you'll see some people have some negative here um, all you have to do is pick one of those let's say we choose one who sends 26 and click on the book ad swap now once you do that you'll get to this picture where you can see the date and also the other dates that this person has available the time now it's custom to send uh, emails around 6 30 to 8 o'clock in the morning eastern time okay you can see here your swipe you can edit it a little bit because this is the swipe we created when we first joined safe swaps okay maybe you've changed your link or you want to add some more text or state it differently and here you can see the swipe of the partner now some partners will have more than one swipe by clicking uh, as as in this case now clicking this little drop down arrow here you can see that this person in particular has four swipes and by selecting one you see their swipes now what we do we need to right click and open link in a new tab in order to see what this person is offering now this particular person is offering this Twitter offer and we need to ensure that this is a free offer now everyone knows that they need a free offer but sometimes people forget and they try to or they try to sneak in a, a paid offer this is not good we only want to swap ad swaps we uh, do ad swaps with people who are offering free offers like we do okay so this is the the squeeze page now overall this this is not a very good squeeze page and the reason is it's got too much text okay having said that it doesn't hurt trying you can see i mean i suggest i highly suggest putting your name and an email here and submitting to make sure before you book an ad swap that this person actually sends this gift okay now let's say we're happy with this offer you can put here a name uh, a, a little quick message say hi name hi name of ad swap partner obviously you need to replace this can we please add swap for 20 to 30 clicks okay now it's really important and i highly recommend when you do ad swaps to pre-agree the number of clicks while when you're first starting out you won't know how many clicks you will send more or less by viewing this tutorial you know that this is the amount of clicks you'll be able to send okay because what happens sometimes is 
especially when you're booking ad swaps later on with bigger list they will send you maybe 100 200 clicks and you only send them 50 and obviously this is not considered a good ad swap so they may leave you a negative feedback when you're ready you just click on the send proposal and you will see you will see a note on your screen because I didn't book this saying okay your swap your swap proposal has been sent and the other person has three days to respond whether they would like to accept this or not and this is another thing I forgot to mention every time you send a proposal out or people send to you you have three days to accept or reject because sometimes the offer may not be suitable for your list and the same happens uh, for your offer to the other person's list okay so so when this has gone in you can see all your swaps for a particular month I mean now I'm obviously in December 2012 by clicking on the swap link at the top okay and once they've accepted SafeSwap will send you a, a message saying that your partner has accepted your proposal and then uh, when the time comes for the agreed date you will need to send their you will need to send their swipe in your link in your list excuse me and they will do the same now this assuming you know how to send an email from Aweber if not I'm sure I'll make another video sometime that shows you how to send an email from Aweber now once they have accepted the swap and the swap has been agreed you will see something um, on the date of the swap with the name of the partner and in shaded these letters all said nobody so once you're ready you're gonna click within the swap you can see here the swipe of the partner now this is the the swipe you will need to send to your list i.e. the email you will need to send to your list with this subject line and this swipe as a text it's already got the link of your partner in there you can see the date here okay and this is the actual tracking link that uh, SafeSwap will track to see how many clicks you sent. Now once you're ready, you have put the email into your autoresponder. You need to come here and click on the I'm all set button and make sure you click on I'm all set. So that will notify your partner you're ready. You have queued their email in your autoresponder and you're ready to go. And they should do the same. Now if you don't do that, SafeSwap will apply some reliability points to your profile now going back a little bit on how we um, book in ad swaps which I forgot to mention initially now if you click what is always best to do I mean aside to see that they've got 100% feedback obviously and this is the number of swaps they've done so obviously they have done many many swaps but it's always best to click on the uh, profile on the link of the name of the ad swap partner or the potential ad swap partner and see the the feedback he has received on previous swaps now as you can see here's an example in this one click send 38 got 25 so in this swap this particular partner sent 13 clicks more and whereas in this swap he sent 10 and got 24 so he sent 14 less so it's always good to see what other people are saying about this particular ad swap partner 